my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm about to start starving to death. What the f- Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is fantastic. Oh! Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Jesus. Alright, so check it, guys. So you see all this coal down here. For you guys, this is nothing because I just edited it out. But now I can be even late and my videos can get even worse. Okay. <laughs> So I just have to shift, hold down my hotkey, boom, it breaks the coal for me, all right? That's called vein mining, okay? I will say though, makes you very hungry, I'm already unable to run. I'm about to start starving to death. Oh, I hear a pig. Where are you, piggy? Piggy, where are you? What the hell? It's like so desolate. There they are. There's my piggies. What have you guys been up to? Ah, I'm literally starving to death. What the hell? What just happened? Oh, poison ivy. Just like dream. Oh wait, let me enable my ender pearl mod. I'm just joking. Okay, calm down. I'm trying to find just a decent opening. Like a... Somewhere a little more moddy, you know? Like, not like a birch thing. I want to find like an interesting biome. Whoa! Pink sheep! No way. No way. That is so neat. Quicksands. Watch out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Where's my cobblestone? Oh shoot. Break it! Break it! Oh my god. Oh my god! How deep does it go? Oh my god. Guys, that was almost a disaster. Hey okay, guys, don't ever play with quicksands. My god, we done hit oil. Oh my god. My golly, we hit oil. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. Ah, uh, guys, what does that island, what does this island look like right here? You know what it looks like? It looks like an island. You disgusting creep. What's wrong with you? Because all we've come across is vanilla stuff, which is so bizarre because usually it's. Oh, did I not enable biomes of plenty? Oh, no, I don't think I did. Bruh. This is more like it. Now we have like the cool trees. I searched that, I searched for half an hour trying to find the cool trees and stuff. And turns out they weren't even available in the world. That was such an epic fail. That was ridiculous. Whoa, what is that? What is that? That, that's a tree. That is like where the blue people live. That's like those avatar, the, those, those uh, blue fellas live in there. Yeah, we're setting up camp like right here. Cause this is like crazy cool sights right here boom oh well <laughs> obviously not a great spot oh oh shoot there's a witch oh shoot what difficulty is this oh my god so 30 seconds She's gonna kill me! Ah! Oh my god! What the hell is going on? Oh, I'm so dead. Bro, what is this? That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Oh, something neat we can do um, is we can actually add waypoints. Uh, we'll call this camp. There we go. And now we have a waypoint. And um, if we want to, we can teleport to it as well. So as you guys can see, there are a lot of different ores in this cave. So we have stuff like tin, copper, 
uh, coal, a uh, uh, different tin, different tin, uh, yellowite, iron. This is uh, overworld quartz. Um, and we have this type of copper. And then somewhere in here, there ought to be some aluminum. But yeah, there's a lot of different ores in this game and they serve their own purpose. For right now, early game, really important stuff is gonna be the copper and the iron, especially. Now this stuff right here is actually really good. This is yellow right? And this is how you can power reactors in the game. And I like to use reactors now, so we're gonna get as much yellow right as we can. Now that we're deep enough, we're finding lead and silver. Um, this is really good for machinery as well. Oh. Here's the red stuff. Oh, diamonds! Heck yeah. Dang, that was a lot. How much is this? 11? Wow. Ain't no way. 11? I don't think I've ever gone a vein of 11 ever. Like, not even just modded. So that was pretty successful, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make a steam dynamo. I'm excited, are you guys excited? I know I am. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press O. It's gonna open up this. This is all the stuff we can craft in this game. Uh, there's an awful lot. So what we want is a steam dynamo. So we want a steam dynamo. So as you can see, it's a lot of copper. And here's that silver and redstone that we wanted. And then uh, some iron. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create two of these and create this. And then just like, wait, what? Why can't we create this? Okay, there we go. Okay. This is a steam dynamo, okay? So what this is going to do is it's going to power machines. This is going to create um, electricity. So once we put coal in this, it'll start creating power instantly. Not very good power, but starting power um, to get us going. What we want to do is we need to put water in this sink, but how do we funnel water into it constantly? A constant source. Well, for that, you need aqueous um, accumulator, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to give it uh, water. So this one's a little more of an advanced uh, crafting recipe. For this, we're going to need tin. Uh, to make a machine frame. Uh, we're gonna need a new man, uh, pneumatic servo, which is glass and some iron, um, more copper. So we're gonna need some glass, so we know that now. So let's grab some glass and everything else we should have. Oh, let's start crafting some stuff that we know we can make. So we can make a bucket, all of these bad boys. One of those, and we can make our tin gear. One gear in the middle, machine frame. So, I think I just need more glass, and then we'll be good. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Now, now we can start creating electricity. And so, uh, this is a 3x3 three three area, because we want all sides of this thing to soak up water. As you can see, it's filling with water, uh, and it will fill this with water. Yes, there we go. Alright, so this thing now has water in it, so all it needs is coal, and this bar will start filling up with electricity, aka, um, redstone flux. All right, there we go. And as we can see, it's going to make steam. And then there it is, electricity. We have electricity. What we're going to do now is we want to make electri um, electrical pipes, okay? And these electrical pipes are what are going to carry the electricity. For now, this is the most basic setup you can possibly have is this right here. So you might be asking yourself, Nathan, why do you need machines? What, what, how will that improve your lifestyle? We're going to double our resources real quick using a pulverizer, okay? That, that pulverizer, once we craft it, it's gonna take one of these ores. So I'm gonna give it an ore. You know what it's gonna do? It's gonna grind it into two dust, okay? And this two dust can be smelted into two ingots. All right, so let's start making this machine. So we need um, one of these, a couple of these. Oh, sorry. Boom, pulverizer. All right, so as soon as we play this down, you can see it's gonna start filling with electricity. It's gonna take it out of here and transfer it all into here. So now we can start putting ores in here and turning them into dust. So now you might be saying, that's great. How in the world are we gonna smelt double of stuff when I'm waiting around on these furnaces as is. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a redstone furnace, which is almost exactly like the pulverizer in look and crafting and stuff. But what it does is it's just a much, much faster furnace. Boom. Okay. Redstone furnace. So what we can do, blue is input, orange is output. So what we're going to do is just tell it to put everything that it creates into 
this. So this is going to now accept whatever dust comes out of this. Boom, powered. And now it'll start smelting. And then it'll go straight into this chest when it's done. Do this, do this. So now this is our ore creating machine. So we're gonna stick all the ore we have into this machine. It is going to constantly turn it into dust. It'll go into this chest first and then slowly make its way into the redstone furnace. So one tin ore is already turned into two ingots just like that, almost instantly. And I'll tell you what, we can actually upgrade this chest um, because this mod also has something cool called Better Chest, I think it's called or something. Every, every scientist needs his laboratory. So I think what we wanna do is clear out a little bit of space um, and figure out where we might want to put one. And for the building blocks, um, this mod adds a really big extensive array of block designs using the mod chisel. And all we have to do is craft a little chisel, it's really cheap, and we can get all these different variations of regular vanilla blocks, especially um, like cobblestone. We can color it, we can make it look like this stuff. There's all kinds of really, really cool stuff we can use uh, do using that. So this is gonna be our little outline. It's gonna be kind of a somewhat tall rectangular building um, just to stick our machinery inside of. Let's grab us some marble. I, I think marble looks really good. I've always been a big fan of it. So we just turn all of these into marble brick. That's a pretty good looking block right there. We're gonna, we're gonna use this. All right, all I have to do is put on the finishing touches. Boom, sock lights the this building. Dear Lord, that looks like a tissue box. Okay, well here it is. This is sock labs right here. Now that's official. We need to add the waypointers. Yes, okay, sock laboratories. Wow. There it is. Um, let's move our stuff into here. All right, so now that the lab is all set up again, um, we're gonna tunnel down and we're going to craft some uh, some some turtles. They're, they're gonna be really good, you'll see. And these are like these little mini robot guys that will like dig for us so that we don't have to. Um, so what we need um, is two of these to make two of these. And then we just combine two of these with two of these. Ta-da, okay, we now have two turtles. This is literally how we're going to uh, break the world, okay? And then all we gotta do is dig straight down. That's all we need to do. Nothing wrong has ever happened doing that, has it? Here's what you do. You sit down your turtle and they will mine in a three by two area. So they're gonna mine um, the blocks that are next to it and then these ones above it. It's gonna dig straight that way. So what we'll do is we're gonna set another turtle right here so that it kind of digs more of a, you know, a little bit of a taller tunnel for us, okay? So what we're gonna tell it to do is we're gonna tell it to tunnel and that's just gonna tunnel, like I said, and we're gonna tell it to go 128 blocks. That's just that's just what I'm used to telling it. And now it'll burn 16 coal just about. And so we're gonna start that one and start this one. And so now these turtles are gonna go straight that way. They're gonna mine everything. They can mine obsidian, ore, stone, you name it, until they finish their cycle. And all we need to do is just follow them. You know, just get get free loot. Anyway, guys, um, I guess this is going to conclude episode one of the modded series. I know this is kind of different for my channel. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, I know I did. If you don't like it, uh, just don't watch it, I guess. Uh, once again, guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed, you know what to do now. Bye, guys. Bye. I'm going to watch these guys work now.